Welcome to the Love All Tennis channel. Kindly subscribe and enjoy the video. Rafael Nadal, the 22-time Grand Slam singles champion, has never won the Paris Masters or ATP final. And from the sound of things, he doesn't want to be number one again either. I will not fight anymore to be number one. I achieved that goal a couple of times in my career, and I have been very, very happy and proud about achieving that. But I am in a moment in my tennis career where I don't want to fight to be number one. Rafael Nadal had a remarkable start to the season after going 20-1 and for the new year, winning a record-breaking 21st Grand Slam title in the process. However, Nadal sustained a stress fracture to one of his ribs en route to the final in the American desert. As a result, he was ruled out for four to six weeks. Even when it was a 52-week period, Rafa hasn't played quite as much tennis. At the end of the day, the points, the ranking points don't lie, and whoever comes out on top week in and week out thoroughly deserves it. The Spaniard veteran returned to the court at the Madrid Masters just last month, but was again hampered by his chronic injury just a week later at the Rome Open. Yet even if Nadal wins back-to-back -back majors this season, former world number four Tim Henman believes that Rafael Nadal does not deserve the number one ranking due to his lack of playing time on the court. Despite a six-month absence, he won the Melbourne Summer Set, the Australian Open, and the Mexican Open and reached the final of the Indian Wells Masters. Rafael Nadal is back on tour for the first time since becoming a father, although he acknowledges that being away from home is now even more difficult. The 22-time Grand Slam champion from Spain, 36, is playing this week's Paris Masters, leaving behind his three-week-old son. Rafael Nadal is a different man. He's losing sleep over his newborn baby and not so much the number one ranking. Even with all of his absences, Nadal has a shot at finishing the season as the world number one. He has racked up 5,820 points, trailing only the top-ranked Carlos Alcaraz, who has 6,650. For now, he wants to be a number one dad. He's come to Paris for his first tournament since his wife Maria Francisca Pareo gave birth to their first child, a boy, in early October. Nadal admitted he's approaching things differently now that he's a father. It's quite interesting how, even after knowing him only two or three weeks, leave your son at home and not be able to see him, you start missing him, Nadal said. We are lucky today that, with the technology, everything, we can do video calls anytime that you want. Nadal received a first round bye and will face Tommy Paul or Roberto Bautista Agut in the second round on Wednesday. He hasn't played competitively since September when he partnered with Federer in doubles at the LeVar Cup to celebrate the last match of the retiring Swiss great. Yes, it's a different strategy than normal. Being away from home has never been easy. Speaking to the media in Paris, Nadal stated, The number two contends that winning the number one spot at the end of the season is not the reason he will be back this year. I don't fight to be number one, said Nadal. I just fight to keep being competitive in every event that I played, something that I said a long time ago. Rafael Nadal shouldn't be world number one, even if he wins the French Open, according to Tim Henman. The Spaniard is hoping to claim a second Grand Slam on the trot, having won the Australian Open earlier in the year. And he's now just two matches away from more history at Roland Garros. Fellow Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz is currently number one at just 19 years old, having just won the US Open. And though Nadal was also winning big titles as a teenager, he took longer to reach the top spot. Nadal won 11 titles in 2005, nine of them on clay, including the French Open, but didn't reach number one until 2008 when he also won Wimbledon. Nadal is hoping to win the French Open for the 14th time, and he boosted his chances of securing glory with a hard-fought victory over Novak Djokovic in midweek, with the Serb unable to cope with his long-term rival. The tennis ranking system has been scrutinized amid Nadal's fine form with some feeling the veteran deserves to be world number one if he wins a second major on the trot. But while Henman thinks Nadal will have been the best if he wins the French Open, the former tennis star also thinks the fact he's not played as much as others against him. I understand the way the world ranking system works, Henman told Eurosport. It's obvious that when I was number one for the first time in my career in 2008, I wanted to be there because I felt that 2005, 06, 07, including 08, I was doing amazing results, winning a lot of tournaments, having a lot of points on the ranking system. I had somebody in front of me like Roger Federer. No, 
said Nadal. So in some way, I think I had been very consistent. I think I deserve to be there. No, because it's nice to arrive at number one. Take some time and you need to fight for it. And that helps to be even more consistent. No, today is a different story for me. I don't know how many events I played, like 10, and I finished eight. Difficult to be number one like this, but happy to be in that position that says when I was playing, I was playing well. But even though he is now playing a limited number of tournaments, Nadal has still had a huge season, winning the Australian Open and French Open, alongside injury problems at Indian Wells, Wimbledon, and the US Open. Yet, he could still achieve more firsts over the next few weeks at the Paris Masters and at the ATP Finals in Turin, two events he has yet to win. Let's see on the competitive level how I manage. It's always an issue. I mean, in older bodies like my one. It's easier to know how things are going when you are playing tournaments in a row, Nadal said. When you are coming back from a period outside of the competition, it's difficult to know how you're going to be playing, how your body gonna respond because it's obvious that the tour level is different than the amount of practice that I can have at home. It's true that it has been an amazing year in terms of results, but at the same time, it's true that it has been a tough year in terms of injuries. Just excited to be here. I am here to try my best. Nadal will play Tommy Paul in his opening match in Paris, Bercy, where he is the second seed. Alcaraz is set to clinch the year-end number one for the first time. He could be the first player to achieve that outside the big four of Nadal, Djokovic, Federer, and Andy Murray since Andy Roddick in 2003. Number three, Stefano Tsitsipas and number four, Kasper Ruud have an outside chance at number one as 1,000 points go to the Paris Masters winner and 1,500 points for a perfect run at the ATP Finals in Turin this month. Amazingly, aside from the statement by Nadal, it's very important to check if he still tends towards being number one again. Here are some of the points that give high expectations of Nadal being number one again. His health. In 2009, Knee problems set Rafa Nadal back and allowed Roger Federer to regain the number one ranking. This time around, Rafa has no such problems. He's learned to rest and skip some of the smaller tournaments so his body doesn't fail him. Because of it, he doesn't wear out and he's able to run across the court as much as he needs to. He suffered a hamstring tear in January in the Australian Open, but he's shown no sign of problems since then. He's always improving. What's even worse about Rafa coming back stronger than ever last summer is that he's nowhere near done. Nadal is always looking for ways to improve his game, whether it's his serve or his net game. He's not just an extremely talented tennis player, he's also never content with what he's done in the past. And best of all is his fan support. In tennis, the fans do play a huge part in a player's performance. Novak Djokovic long lamented that he never received fan support in the Grand Slams, and now that he does, he's playing better in part because of it. Rafa has always had fan support wherever he played. Nadal is one of those players that all the fans love, and that won't stop anytime soon. If you want to watch more amazing videos like this, kindly subscribe and click the like button to become part of our family.